Psalm 131, a song of degrees of David. This one's David. Lord, my heart, who you are, not your head, your heart. My heart is not haughty, proud, great opinion of yourself. David did not think more, and he was the king. He didn't have a high head. Nor my eyes lofty. And I also mean proud, heady. Look how great I am. I'm the king of Israel. Who do you think you are? That, that wasn't David. I killed the giant. Who do you think you are? Well, there were others that killed giants. Neither do I exercise. That's the first time that word shows up. So let's see the first time, the, the rule of the first time shows up in the Bible, the word. Neither I exercise myself in great matter. So exercise the first time in the Bible doesn't have anything to do with weightlifting or a gym. It's a practical work labor. I don't get involved with big, great men. What do you feel about the, you know, Black Lives Matter and, and big, I don't, I don't care. I make comments every once in a while just to show the Bible side or make people think, you know, how stupid it is. But other than that, I don't care. I mean, don't you want to go out and get a gun and protect, that's God protecting me. And eventually it'll die down and something else will come up. We've got these seeds from China now. If not, God will take care of Or in things too high for me. David's saying, you know what? If it's above my head, I can't do nothing about it. I don't have the ability. This is the giant killer. I don't get involved. David set a limit for himself that this is what I can do. This is what I can't do. I'm going to concentrate on what I can do. And maybe I'll learn or try to learn something what I can't do. But I mean, one day David goes out in the field. He's never killed a giant before. And he learned. Surely, I have behaved. We know what behave means. When, when a child is proper. A child ain't screaming around and yelling. And, and We're supposed to sit there or just stand there. You don't touch that because you don't need to touch that. You don't need to go there because that's not where you're supposed to go. You're not to be there because that's not where you go. You do this like I told you to do it, and you don't do that because I told you not to do it. That's behave. I hate to say it, but I don't see that in the churches today. And quieted myself. David hushed. David obeyed. Whether to do or not to do, and he quieted himself. That's the, that's the only time that word shows up quiet. Or the first thing. I'm marking my Bibles. That's definitely the first time that word showed up. As a child that is weaned of his mother. And when you, if you've seen a child that is breastfeeding. That's what wean is, a child is breastfeeding. That child ain't kicking and hollering. He ain't acting up. He ain't causing trouble. He's just laying there at peace. Mom's taking care of me. He's got his ear up to his mother's heartbeat. He's getting the nutrients that he has. I have no cares in the world. I'm up against my mother. I'm getting fed. 
I'm happy. And as much as I'm drinking, I'll I'll I'll, I'll rest myself enough of sleep that I'll still be able to eat. And David is liking that not only as a child breastfeeding off his mother, but he's talking about his relationship with God. God is going to come right up against you. I'm going to nestle my ear right next to your heart like John the, John the Apostle. And I'm just going to put all cares in you and I'm not going to worry. Lord, just put me in your arms, cuddle me up against your breast and Take care of me. That's what he's saying. He's wholly prepared upon God. My soul, the eternal part, is even as a weaned child. Lord, I'm yours. And when he sinned with Bathsheba and he and he killed Uriah, he went to the hands of the Lord God, take away not thy spirit. Lord, I sinned against you. Lord, I'm at unease here. Because I'm not in your arms. I'm not up against you. And being nourished by natural milk. By a loving, caring mother. Who in most cases would eat and do that which would be proper for her milk to be for the child. Nothing stands me worse for a child to be in, in, the, in the arms of, of her mother breastfeeding or bottle feeding. And, and she's smoking a cigarette and the ashes are falling off in the kid's face. That angers me. David saying, I am up against God and I'm getting everything natural. He's relying on God for he himself and for his soul. Let Israel, the nation of Israel, look at that. He's, in two verses, he's described himself. And to close his psalm, he's saying, of the nation. David cared about the people and his people like Paul did. Paul was beaten. Paul was, was almost killed. Paul was, was argumented. I mean, they were they caused great distress and anguish with, against Paul. And Paul said, I still love you guys. Pray for the peace of Israel. Will you guys believe upon Jesus? And he go in their synagogue. Paul had Paul was told three times by the Spirit, don't go into Jerusalem. He's like, I'm going to my people. David says, of all he's talking about, let Israel. Now, go back to Psalms 130, what we did last night, and look at verse 7. Let Israel hope in the Lord. And verse 3 of our chapter today, 131, let Israel hope in the Lord. I don't know, it doesn't say who wrote Psalm 130, but that's a verily, verily. That's an important thing. Because we're coming to a time pretty soon. It's going to happen. And it's happening quickly. But I don't know when. But we're coming upon Jacob's trouble. Three and a half years of tribulation. Three and a half years of great tribulation. Where Satan himself will be the worldwide ruler. And what is the only hope? That Israel will have. Look at Titus 2.13. Israel will have to have the same hope. That the Christian has. And Titus 2.13 is the hope of the rapture. This is my life verse. 2.13. And if you're going to apply it to Israel, which I believe you can, it's Jesus Christ, the second coming. Looking on the blessed hope, there it is, hope, and the glorious appearing 
of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Savior, Jesus Christ saved me of my sin. Jesus Christ is going to save the nation of Israel from the sinner. Back to Psalms. Let Israel hope in the Lord, the coming of the Lord, that's capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Titus 2.13. You know who I'm going to pick on. That's Jesus Christ. Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. Jesus is God. From henceforth, from, from right now, David's writing. There's no date. I, I wish. And forever. From the time that David pens this psalm, Israel forever. Let Israel hope in the Lord. We're to hope in the Lord. Us that are saved, Jesus Christ, God is our blessed hope. For those that are lost, they need hope. They're hopeless. We need to go in the world and preach the gospel. Glory to God.